Oh no. She changed the camera perspective. Ah. Hello. How did it do all that? It changed my viewing. Okay. Hello. Welcome. Um, so, welcome to a new show. Well, not a new show. It's been it's been doing it for a while, but I'm di I'm giving it a name now. Welcome to cheap good stuff. Here's the logo. So yeah, um, I've already been doing reviews on stuff on my channel for a while, and I figured why not give it a name? Why not make it a thing? Because they seem to be the thing that gets the most views. So why not just seek out and, and try to make it a bit, a bit more of a, of a series? Um, and to that effect, we got this. The Menace LED Backlit Gaming Keyboard. Immersive sound, 40mm speaker drivers, adjustable mic. Um, big, big plot twist, I've already opened this and I've looked inside. There are no speakers on this. Uh, well, I haven't plugged it in the computer, but I opened it and I looked at it and I couldn't find any speakers. So, either that's a lie? Is it with the mic? Or there's secrets in here that I have I have not discovered yet. Um, let's check out the back. So we got plug and play design, anti-ghosting keys, and RGB backlight. Pretty much just saying, hey, these are things that this has. It's an LED backlit gaming keyboard with anti-ghosting keys. It's USB wired and unique and ambient. Unique and ambient is our words. You can use them. Are they correct? You'll see. So plug and plug and play. Plug and play design is easy to use. Simply connect via USB for effortless gameplay. Anti-ghosting keys. Anti-ghosting keys are optimized for gaming, giving you precise control of your keyboard. RGB backlit. Backlit RGB lights enhance your setup by providing a colorful vivid experience. It's, it's a lot of fluff. All right, let's be honest. So the only thing I like about this is this graffiti style here. Everything else is hot garbage. So. Let's just bust the boy open and stop playing with your emotions because I know what I'm getting into, but you don't. So there was a user manual and it was just basic bullshit. Goodbye, box. Be gone! I hit the fan. Here we go. This is the boy. Eh, eh, eh. Gross. So this is a membrane keyboard disguised as a mechanical keyboard. And what do I mean disguised? Look at those. See those? Those look like plastic housings for like a, a Logitech like optical switch. It's not. It has a kickstand at the very least. And like I said, I couldn't find any spots for speakers back here. There's like an etched in design here, which I'm assuming is for the logo. My bad. I didn't mean to do that. Um... Yeah, it's got a kick. It's got kickstand, so you can at least elevate it. But yeah, it's hot garbage everywhere else. It was five dollars, but I want to show you something here. Let me get into this bad boy here. Come here. Look at that. See that? That is not a standard uh, mechanical like cherry style switch uh, keycap. This is. As far as I can tell, it's unique because I don't even think the Logitech had like this design. So, but you see right there, that little body right there, that is a membrane dot back there. And this is hard plastic. So they've taken this membrane keyboard, thrown a lot of fluff onto it to hide it and make it look more valuable than it is. Um, you can tell that it's super plasticky and glossy. It's got so much flex in there. I could rip this apart with my bare hands, which we might do. I don't know. Maybe I'll do it for content. Um, and this USB cable is uh, kind of poopy. Look at that. It's deformed. Eee. Ugh, that is gross. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> gross um while we're on the topic of this show i did upgrade the way i record if you'll look i now have a f stand before uh, i use like a box with like a, a kickstand phone thingy that i used to record with my phone which this is recorded with my phone it's got i got a cut it looks like at some point sorry uh, <laughs> 
So yeah, we're going to plug this up and we're going to see how it feels to use in a game. <laughs> I'm already dreading this. Um, oh, real quick. Uh, let me just sound test it real quick for you. Okay, there's that. Now let's scoot over here to my beautiful K-Cron K4. Keychron K4, not Keychron, Keychron, and that's a mechanical keyboard. That is blue switches, which are my personal favorite. You may not like blue switches, but I like blue switches. So let's go ahead and get this bad boy out of here and move this monstrosity over here, right here. I'll cut here. Goodbye. All right, we're plugged in, um, and I notice there's no uh, lights. Um, what does this do? Oh, there it goes. It's lighting up now. <laughs> it's just a one solid color. Oh, no. Interesting. Hope nobody heard that yelling. <laughs> um... So yeah, this is kind of gross. Uh, it's just one <laughs> solid spectrum of blue, red, green. Um, <laughs> so we're going to load up a game here. Um, let's go play some Halo Infinite. Let me open my OBS. Hello, welcome to the gameplay portion of the video. Um, we're using the keyboard. We're playing some Halo Infinite on the screen up here. You can't see it on the, on the recording. Um, and then I'm using the other mouse from the other day, uh, or the other video that we used. So we'll hopefully see how the low-cost gaming experience really comes together. Oh, um, I took off the glides, and let me tell you, this moves so much better. It's a little yucky. I've been trying to get all this stuff off. But yeah, these this plays so much better without the freaking the glides. Um... <laughs> probably hear it it doesn't feel bad in my hands like it doesn't feel bad it's not something i would use all day but it doesn't feel bad so oddball. ooh, oddball um <laughs> we'll see how long this goes but yeah let's make it work l york 2 all right All right, so I can say right now it you can feel the feedback of the membrane push like I don't know how to describe it to you, but There's just a there's just a feeling you get when you use membrane um, It's got that like kind of rubbery like pushback like that. That's what the best way I can describe it is a um, And that's what it feels like it feels so much like a ghoul Nice Thanks for the save, buddy. I'm gonna take that and run. I don't play Halo like this, so this is throwing me off so hard right now. I'm used to playing with my controller. Oh, man. <laughs> the things I do for love. Any of you know what that's from, you have all of my respect. Optic oh, grenade got me. Understandable. Have a great day. Let's go. All right, we're gonna. Oh, he was on the right. I was not expecting him there. Oh my goodness. Enemy has the ball. Yo. I haven't gotten a single uh, kill this whole game. <laughs> Look, man, if this is all you got, I'm sure you could get used to it and, and rock out. No problem, man. We've all been budget gamers before. 
Yep, I wasn't gonna win that fight by myself, and I let my teammate down by letting him die. That is on me. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. I will say this DPI setting on this mouse is not what I'm used to. It makes it kind of hard. The keyboard has been fine. It's It's been working, I can say that much. Ah! And the dogs are barking in. Why does everything go wrong when I'm recording? <laughs> ah! They know. Alan! That's a cinder shot in my face. I can't fight that. Enemy has the ball. They win. Ah! Run! <laughs> Christ! That was a shit show and a half. Move, buddy! Give me one! Yes, I got one kill! Oh. How can you even tell if caps lock is on? Is it just not on or off? I don't know. It's okay, we'll deal with it. Ah. <laughs> Oh, I'm not used to playing Halo with a mouse and keyboard. When it comes to mouse and keyboard, I'm more of a twitchy kind of guy. So, like, Halo is a lot less twitchy. And it's hard for me to, like, get that out of my brain. Two kills? Four, t five kills on the board, boys? Let's go! The cheap gamer shall rise. Low budget gamers, stand up. Let's go. <laughs> We're getting in the swing of things now. We just needed some warm up rounds, baby. Ball dropped. Getting out of that. I couldn't keep it from him, boys. I'm sorry. Enemy has the ball. Ball down. Yo, thank you. Oh, no, I ruined it. <laughs> hey, we're rocking 7 and 18, boys. We're not doing terrible. Budget gamer rise. Y'all on that mind. Y'all on that. That. Expensive gamer mindset. I'm on that budget gamer grind set. Let's go. We did it. We lost. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, we're gonna go ahead and cut back to just talking about the keyboard now. So I'll catch you guys when I get all that back set up. Goodbye. Okay. So. All in all, uh, could I recommend this keyboard? No. If you have $5 to spend on a keyboard, my guy, you could save that $5 and buy the Felicone keyboard, and it'll be a much better experience for you. Now, if you absolutely have no other choice, this can get you by. I'd say for a good month, this keyboard would last you. Maybe two. Uh, it's a membrane. I don't see it working for heavy gaming use, especially if you're somebody who plays a lot of FPSs, for it to stick around for a long time. I mean, if you know how to take care of your keyboard, maybe you can make this thing work for a while. But this just isn't... This isn't it, boss. This is uh, just something to get you by, you know? It's no more than that, no less than that. It's It's just a way to play your games if you absolutely need to have them. And if you're somebody who's older... The big key, the big cut, like lettering, is good for older people. I could see that working, especially the light. You could, you can maybe get this for grandma, or your mom, your dad, whoever, who is older, who may not have as good eyesight. Um, these bigger letterings and stuff, perfect for them. Um, not to mention, you know, um, it's cheap. So you know, your your old pe older people usually don't look into buying expensive peripherals like that. Um, like your mother, your father, your grandma, your grandpa. 
you know, they'll be, they'll be content with this, you know, and they probably don't use their computer that often anyway, so this will probably last them quite a while. Um, other than that, it's just a really cheap membrane keyboard disguised as mechanical by having these fake, like, optical-like switch coverings. Um, so, yeah. I do like the Menace. I wish this company, if this is a company, if they have more... Uh, had a higher end thing because I like the I like the menace. I mean, if they had something cooler and more worthwhile, I could recommend that. Um, but yeah, that's uh, pretty much all there is to say about this board. It works. It, it's it's a membrane. If you like membrane, it works. Um, and that's really about it. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching uh, another episode of ch cheap good stuff. Uh, I'll sh work on the name a bit more maybe. Um, but that's what I'm working with now. Um, we'll try to have one of these out at least uh, at the very minimum once a month. Um, I've just, a lot of stuff is stockpiled and I've been able to have a lot of these stored up or I've just found really weird things like this for like $5. Also, is this a sticker? Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, okay. That's just a sticker. Hold on. Ah, oh, fuck it. It's not worth it. Yeah, it's just a sticker, dog. <laughs> but no, thank you guys for watching. Seriously, it means a lot. Um, These videos always do good. Um, So... It would mean a lot if you guys who like this content would, you know, comment, like, subscribe. Maybe check out some of my other stuff. I do play games on here. Um, I'm doing a Pokemon Nuzlocke right now if you like Pokemon. Um, so, and when Pokemon Arceus comes out, we'll play that. Uh, we got Dying Light 2 coming up. Um, and there was something else coming out in February that I'm like, man, I don't have all the time to play all these games. <laughs> but we'll get to all of them. We'll play them all. Um but yeah, if you guys like games, you can watch that content. And if you like this stuff, stick around. I'll have more of it um, coming up uh, at least again in the next month. Um, February, we'll have like one or two videos I can probably get a hold of to make. And uh, yeah, we'll try to keep that going. Um, so yeah, if you guys enjoyed, again, do the, the, the stuff that every YouTuber asks you to do. And uh, hope you have a wonderful day. Hope this day, uh, hope this video, hope you find something interesting to look at or listen to. So uh, I'm CyberPowerFox, and I'll catch you guys next time. Goodbye.